All right, so this is where the trig definitions come from, and you absolutely need to write this down for sure. There are six trigonometric ratios. I keep using the word ratio because that's what a trig function is. It's a fraction. It's when you divide two sides of a right triangle. So the first definition we're going to learn is if you take the opposite side of an angle and divide by its hypotenuse, in other words, how many times it fits into the hypotenuse, you get sine back. Now, let me go back for a second. Can everybody see that the opposite side will always be less than the hypotenuse? Hypotenuse is always the biggest side of a right triangle. So if I take something smaller and divide by something bigger, I'm going to get a decimal back, right? It can't be bigger than 1. So right off the bat, you can understand that sine can never be bigger than 1. Next is true for cosine. Cosine is the adjacent side over hypotenuse. And again, the hypotenuse is always the biggest side, so the adjacent divided by hypotenuse will all, all, also always be less than 1. can't be bigger than 1. And then third, we have tangent which is opposite over adjacent. Now as you can see, the opposite side might be bigger than the adjacent side, or vice versa. So it can be bigger than one or less than one, depending on how the triangle is flipped. Okay, so those are your first three trig functions. She mentioned a slogan that we use. Hold on a second. Let me uh, just do a new new sheet here. So what SOCA-TOA means is sine is opposite over hypotenuse. Uh, uh, whoops. Uh, cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. And tangent is opposite over adjacent. So it's a single word that helps you remember all three of those. SOCA-TOA. However, there are three more trig functions. And basically the way we get those is that we flip all those three. So you can, you can change the way the fraction's flipped. So the next trig function is cosecant is when you flip sine. It's hypotenuse over opposite instead of opposite over hypotenuse, cosecant. The next one is hypotenuse over adjacent, so when you flip cosine, that's secant. You guys can see these are going to be bigger than 1 because hypotenuse is always bigger than the opposite side. It's always bigger than the adjacent side. And then the last one is adjacent over opposite. It's just the flipped version of tangent. So we have sine, cosine, tangent, cosecant, secant, and cotangent. Instead of writing all these big words out, we can just use three letters to abbreviate them. So the first one, sine, just write S-I-N. It's not sin. You still say sine. Okay, the next one for cosine, you don't have to rewrite all this. It's obviously the same thing. Next one is cosine. You can just write C-O-S. means cosine. The next abbreviation is tan, means tangent. So here's your next three. Cosecant is CSC, secant is SEC, cotangent is COT. It's kind of crazy because you know how, so sine starts with S, right? Well, the inverse of sine actually starts with a C, CSC. And cosine starts with a C, but its inverse actually starts with an S. So well, I remember when I first learned these, that confused me. I, I kept thinking secant was the inverse of sine because it starts with an S, but it's not. It's, so the C's and S alternate. And then inverse of tangent is cotangent. C-O-T, cot. Please don't say cot. <laughs> cotangent.